Well, let's get to it. They're even changing tax rates. Uh, not really changing tax rates, but making slight adjustments to taxes in Mississippi this year in 2023. Coming up, let's talk about what's happening. We've updated the payroll file. And this is a video that will explain how to calculate Mississippi withholding, what you need to do, what you need to fill out, what's going on here in this process for 2023. And also will reflect some of the changes that have happened uh, from 2022 going into 2023. So here we go. There's a form you need to fill out. It's got a really obscure name. The form 89-350-21 is what they call it. It's the Mississippi Withholding Exemption Certificate. You're going to want to choose a filing status. And then you're going to actually have to do math. This is the one withholding exemption certificate or one of very few for states across the country that requires you to do math and put a big number as an allowance amount here. So normally when we have questions about different states, this is the area where we answer questions when we're filling out our employee sheet. And this is saying line six of form 89,350 as a dollar amount. Usually you just put something like one or two allowances or something like here. If you're looking at a different state's question about what they're asking you on their allowance certificate, not that way with Mississippi. So as you can see, whatever your status is, let's say that we're a 6,000 here. You put the 6,000 here and then you're not gonna answer this because you're not the single status, but you would if you were a different status, you click it and you put a different number. Do you have any dependents? What if you got two dependents? You have to multiply 1500 times the dependent and put that amount here can't so this is now three thousand and then do you have any of these exemptions you'd have to add those in if anybody's blind or old and then you got to add everything together here so you gotta do math on this sucker and let's call it nine thousand and once you do that math that is the number that you want to put here not two it's like nine thousand all right then you want to choose a mississippi filing status um to do that here and whenever you're choosing filing statuses in this, you can just start put the beginning of the state abbreviation, you'll get different choices. So let's call this, let's call this married one spouse works. Now, actually, now let's go back to single. <laughs> let's keep it single, keep, keep it simple. Um, so choose your status here. Oops. And then a single. And any of your W-4 statuses would be would you answer that. But we're just talking about Mississippi here. So well, what's happened this year is that Mississippi has made the first 10,000 of income non-taxable at all. It used to be just 5,000. Now it's 10,000. And they've also changed a, a flat rate. They have a flat 5% rate on all those wages above 10,000. And it's just a very simple formula to do that. As you figure out what the annualized wages are here, and the way that you figure out out that and you look at this formula is you take the the pay period wages which is what the cell br4 is times the number of pay periods in the year okay it gives you an annualized wage then you're going to subtract out that this cell k4 that's that nine thousand dollars that we just found from the exemption certificate that's what that cell is and so you subtract out the allowance amount that you calculated from the, the you know from this form right that they gave you then you also have to take out another standard deduction um, related to the person's filing status. So the single filing status and the exemption amounts are in this table right here. Another table right here for the Mississippi exemption amounts. They are 2,300 for single, 4,600 for married, 3,400 for head of family or head of household. Um, and married, both spouses work. I think this exemption is actually 2300, right? <laughs> I, I, let me double check that. Um, I'm pretty sure this is 20. Yeah, this is 2300 there. Sorry, Mary, Mary Boss's work is going to be the same as the single one. So, um, yeah, so these are the exemption amounts that also comes out. So you remove another $2300 from the uh, annualized wage base to get this number that's the taxable annualized wage base. And then you run it through that formula where you don't tax the first 10,000 and you tax the rest of it at 5% and then divide it by the number of pay periods and you get the amount withheld. So your sample is if you've got a weekly, weekly paycheck and the person is getting $3,555 in Mississippi, that is the richest person in Mississippi. That's a lot of money from Mississippi. Um, 
let's lower that a little bit, show the impact of the 10%. I mean, well, whatever, this is what the tax would be withheld this year. It's going to be a little bit lower than last year because the first 10,000 is tax free and the rest of the rates only five. So it looks like the rate is going to slow, kind of look like a, you know, a little bit more take home pay. Like I said, let's change this to be a more reasonable Mississippi salary. Um, so instead of all this amount of money, let's get rid of all this bonus salary stuff for a second. Let's see what happens to the wage. Still 2,800 bucks. Um, <laughs> not bad, but then you see only $119 would be removed. Let's, let's make this a $10 an hour wage. Let's see what happens. There we go. $935 gross for a week. Um, state of tax Mississippi held 26 bucks. Um, it doesn't look like there's any local taxes, hardly any in Mississippi. So we don't have any of those in there, but that's basically all you need to do. And you're going to get everything complete. So you get them to fill out this form, put, put their allowance amount that they calculate here, right there, have them choose a status and then you're good. And that's 2023. So it also said that the rates are going to be going down in 2024 and, and subsequently. So it's that, that 5% that it's at this year is actually going to be dropping like 4.75 or 4.9 or something uh, in 2024 and continue to drop for the next few years. So they're anticipated some reduction in Mississippi tax coming up. So that's your 2023 Mississippi rate. We are done. We are not, we're not awaiting 2023. 2023 is ready. And I'll link to the booklet when they release the booklet because it's tough to find the booklet online. Um, but we are revised as of January 2023 on Mississippi. And that one is done. So now we're really getting close to having every state ready for 2023. Some of these may not change. But uh, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And, yep. It's like 11 states, and some of these might not even be changing. So here we are on December 19th, and we're getting really close to being done and ready for 2023 as federal rates have already been updated. So that's Mississippi. Enjoy. We're trying to make payroll easy. If you want to subscribe to this Google Sheet and run small business payroll with it. It's only a hundred bucks and you get access for the entire year to run your 2023 payroll and all my updates as I update it um, frequently whenever there are tax changes or people ask me to do work on it. So good luck, everyone. We're making payroll easy. That's Mississippi payroll. We're making it so.